Israel has tested a missile defense system in the Mediterranean, causing a brief spike in tension in a region currently seeing a buildup of military force. The launch was detected by Russia's radars and comes as the U.S. positions itself for an expected attack on Syria. Artis Igor Piskunov joins me now live with the details. Hi there, Igor. So please tell us more about this test. Well, it all, all started with uh, reports from Russia's defense ministry, which announced that at around 5 a.m., GMT, its early warning systems, detected the launches of two ballistic missiles in the Mediterranean, in the central port of the sea, which then uh, moved towards its eastern coast. And uh, shortly after the report came out, uh, Russia's RIA Novosti news agency quoted an unnamed source in Damascus who said that uh, the missiles were dumped into the sea. Now. At first, no one but Russia could officially confirm that these launches did in, uh, in fact take place, including Israel and the U.S. But now we've heard from the Israeli Defense Ministry, which uh, explained that in fact uh, it seems that uh, the incident was part of a joint drill between Israel and the U.S. Uh, and what happened, according to the Israeli side, is that a military plane uh, shot off a missile, which was then intercepted by uh, another uh, rocket. It's part of a joint drill to work out a new anti-missile defense system. Now, this is raising a lot of questions around how good is the timing of holding such drills in the region, which is already filled with all these uh, tensions uh, connected with the situation around Syria, with the uh, possible start of a military intervention there. Uh, most NATO members have been saying that they're not going to take part in any military operation against President Assad's regime, except for France and the U.S. We've heard from uh, President Barack Obama earlier, who said that uh, Washington may start a military operation without uh, the approval of the U.N., but he did want to consult with Congress first. But less than 24 hours ago, we've heard from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who said that the approval of the Congress is not really essential in the situation. So what happened today really illustrates and really adds even more uh, to the uncertainty and, uh, well, tensions around what will happen next uh, in the whole region as international uh, military uh, uh, buildup continues as well. All right. I'll see Igor Piskunov live. Igor, thank you very much indeed. We appreciate it.